It's really amazing. There is this sense of Jewish revival taking place in Budapest today, and you really feel it just by walking down these streets. We had an aim to reconnect to Judaism with a new style and with a new uh, interpretation. We started to do theaters and we formed bands. You can see all around the signs and uh, the names. We are saying out loud that uh, we are Jewish, we're here, we are open for everybody. In Budapest, Hungary, where a large and vibrant Jewish population once lived, a remarkable renewal is taking place. Much of it is outside the mainstream of synagogues and schools. It's called Judaism Without Walls. Leading this movement for Jewish renewal is the Joint Distribution Committee. JDC really tries to stimulate and to invigorate Jewish life to ensure that Jews who grow up in Hungary for many years without even knowing that they're Jewish, today they're coming out, they want to know what Judaism means. Budapest has the largest Jewish population in Eastern Europe, about 100,000 people. However, less than 10% are affiliated. There were generations basically staying more and more silent because the grandparents decided that they don't want to talk about the traumas that, uh, that they went through, and then the parents already didn't know much, and then already the children don't even know that they're Jewish. The Holocaust destroyed over 550,000 Jews in Hungary, one-third its numbers. Those who survived and remained were silenced by 50 years of communism. Jewish life today is centered in the 7th district, where the Great Synagogue is located. It is a neighborhood alive with a diversity of community and culture. It is also here where the annual Judafest takes place. Judafest is the biggest thing in Hungarian Jewish cultural life, and the biggest one which is free of entrance. Judafest is an annual outdoor festival about Jewish life and heritage, sponsored by the JDC. It attracts thousands of visitors each year. Judafest is an entry point for various facets of Jewish life. Many families have problems to say the word Jewish or how, how to tell their children they are Jewish. It's not just a market or it's not uh, just a street festival. We're trying to add some, a, little, a little knowledge for the people who are coming. Today we are uh, drawing with the kids and uh, making a test with them about Israel and about the Bible. It brings around the multitude uh, of different aspects of uh, culture, tradition, religion, whatever you want. You name it, it's here. It's a essential part of the experience uh, that I can meet some other Jewish people here. I, I can meet friends here. I like, there's also things for grown-ups, things for kids. Judafest also attracts many non-Jews. I am here as a non-Jewish. I believe that uh, Hungary is uh, complete with the uh, Jewish people and Jewish culture. Judafest is only one of many programs supported by JDC in Hungary. So we're trying to reach to all the layers of the Jewish community. At the Ballant House, we have programs for Jewish families with young kids, different sports courses, a series of lectures, the Gustra program, which is a cooking program. I think that this is the best way to get together. I love to cook. I'm Jewish. And if you want to bring these two together, then you can come and cook with other Jewish friends. There are young Hungarian Jews who see alternative paths to a Jewish identity. Everything what we are doing with Marom, it's basically tailored for those people that they are trying to seek in their identity, which is meant to be Jewish. It's based on the social cultural events. It's the easiest way to be able to connect to, to Judaism. This is kind of the first step. The challenges facing Hungarian Jews are not only internal. Lately, there has been a sharp increase of anti-Semitism. There are some people who are discouraged from, uh, from coming, and there are a lot of people who feel much more the need to, to come. The Joint Distribution Committee in Hungary encourages the diverse forms of Jewish renewal. If JDC didn't support this JCC, we would have to shut down. It's so simple. If there is no JDC, there is no street festival. That won't happen, as JDC is committed to enabling a new generation of Hungarian Jews to discover their heritage. Really to excite the young people that it's actually worth to belong to the Jewish culture and to the Jewish people. That we are one big 
Jewish family.